Do you feel like stuck and motivated? Do you feel like you are going through motions without real drive? So today we are going to dive deep to understand the secret of motivation. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sahita, a master student in biological systems engineering and a research assistant at University of Wisconsin Madison. In this channel, I explore ways and means of finding happiness, meaning, and getting more of what we have to do on a daily basis. So some days I feel very energetic. I'm full of energy, enthusiasm when I'm doing work in the lab, whether I'm taking classes or even making videos. But sometimes I just feel like I don't have any motivation. I just don't want to do. I just go to the lab because I have to do. I'm compelled to do it because I should work there. Even few minutes we record in this video. I didn't feel like recording this. I'm feeling so unmotivated. I say myself I'm unmotivated. It's difficult for me to pull myself out from the bed sometimes. What is the problem with this? So we say lack of motivation. So what is motivation? We know motivation is the force that drive action. What causes motivation? What is the hidden secret? What is the hidden factor that affects motivation, that arouses motivation in us? Of course, there can be several other external factors like your health. Maybe you didn't get enough sleep. It's about proper nutrition. Maybe you skip a meal or else you are sick. But above all, there is one governing factor. There is one prime factor. There is one huge factor, crucial, vital, influencing factor that drives motivation or that causes motivation or that arouses motivation. This little idea explains why some organizations and some leaders are able to inspire where others aren't. Is purpose. So most of us know, as most the research says and most of the books suggest, for an example, Start With Why by Simon Sinek states, find your purpose. Knowing your purpose, acting on your purpose will drive motivation and it will be the constant fountain of motivation which drives your action. Not only day-to-day -day lives, a job or taking exams, a student, even the sense of living, the motivation to live as it is stated in books like Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl, even just to live, knowing your purpose would greatly help in adverse times, especially in places like concentration camps where you have lost the entire hope of living. So this purpose is so strong that it can drive through thick and thin or destroy all storms, navigate all hurdles, challenges until you realize, gain or achieve a target. But the problem here is how do we know the sense? How do we know what is our purpose? How do we find find our purpose why how what because most of us know that finding our purpose would drive action most of the book says research suggests evidence based but still how do we find our passion how do we find our purpose that is the problem for most of us ordinary people it's not just easy to find our passion of course our passion would not be sending a rocket to mars or well writing a book as ordinary people how do we find our purpose so in this video i'm going to outline three tips that would help you to find your passion. Of course, all of these tips or neither of them would help you. But then if you like, you can jump on to timestamp. There are timestamp in the description. So all the three factors or the three actions that I have lined out. So without any further delay, let's get into these three factors. Number one, introspection and reflection. Oh, see, this seems to be like very fancy. The simple idea is turning into yourself. But very, very few people or organizations know why they do what they do and trying to find your passion. Just a good conversation between yourself. Simply, you have to look into yourself. The first thing is to look into yourself and see what you are curious about. Where have you felt a familiarity? Where did you feel joy, happiness in doing something? But when you're finding your purpose, you should not always look for your passion. It also should align with your skill set because it should be sustainable. If you just go only to your passion, it may not be always sustainable. For some people, yes. For some of the highest achievers in history, following their passion have helped them a lot but for most of us just the passion would not help so you have to find the sweet spot where your passion aligns with your skill set and that would be your purpose in order to do this you can use tools like journaling writing using journaling prompts doing a questionnaire about yourself or even a SWOT analysis where you find your strength weakness opportunities and threats first thing is to get to know about yourself properly in depth and understand yourself. It may not be easy, it may take days, even months, but still it will worth if you can find out who you are, what are your skills, what is your passion and where it aligns. And the second tip is to seek inspiration. So seeking inspiration can also help 
greatly to find your passion, to find your purpose. Well, where do we seek inspiration from? We can seek inspiration from books, role models, the history would uh, provide us with inspiration. So start with Why by Simon Sinek is a good book that you can read. Also, Simon Sinek has a TED talk which has millions of views which start with why and which helps us to find purpose, especially it aligns around uh, businesses and but still it, uh, it applies to everyone. He tried to explain that people don't buy what you do but people buy why you do it people don't buy what you do they buy why you do it if you look at his TED talk he comes out these great examples of uh, Martin Luther King and the Apple company how they achieve success by knowing their purpose even Apple is a business knowing the purpose has helped them to achieve immense success and also the book that I mentioned previously which is Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl also provides us great insights to finding your purpose and passion. So you can also align this with the first tip. If you find certain areas that you like, that you are more inclined to, you can search people who have navigated those paths, simply who have become successful, who are known for just doing the same thing that you intend to do because it says that there will be somebody in the world who has done what you wanted to do because it's very rare that we find some originality. Even sending a spaceship, there will be some person who has at least moved in that path so that we can get some inspiration so once you have done the first step it can be independent or dependent on the first step so second step is to find inspiration and then that moves us to the third step or the third factor or the third tip it can be again independent or dependent is to take small actions taking action also will help you to find purpose because it's very difficult to find purpose at once sometimes when you start doing something you will tend to realize whether it's for you or whether you have to move to another path so taking small actions and try to make them work would help you to understand your passion and your skill set and furthermore it will help you to find your purpose in life so the actions your commitment and the results that you get from doing this action will reinforce your purpose because it's only by taking action that we tend to understand our thoughts if we don't take action thoughts will be thoughts and the thoughts doesn't come to reality well i know all this seems to be easy but in reality it's difficult but if you really want to succeed if you really want to be motivated finding your purpose will immensely help you to stay consistent in whatever you do because consistency is the key to your success and if you look at research most of the research done on human psychology provide evidence to the fact that motivation is driven by purpose so knowing your purpose will help you to navigate in all circumstances challenges and hurdles so we have to always keep pushing keep learning in order to achieve our targets goals and aims well i hope this video Video has helped and I understand it's very difficult even for me it has been very difficult to understand the purpose but sometimes I feel I'm still trying to figure my purpose is but of course you can navigate through what you have understood so if you have more insights to this video if you want to make some feedback please comment down and then I'll see you in the next video if you have liked this video you may also like this video on a similar topic and hope to see you in the next video keep pushing keep learning and keep winning